Uh, they like to, you know, keep it simple. Um, they run the ball a ton. And, uh, you know, like you have a coach like Mike Tomlin, um, you know they're being coached the right way. And uh, they're going to come out and, um, you know, do what they do. Run the ball, be physical, um, pass it from time to time. But, um, yeah, we have to be ready to, you know, out physical, you know, a very physical team. You have so much respect for TJ. Yeah, and, for sure. And he, and he does for you. Yep. So is it fun when you get to compete with guys that you hold in such high regard? Yeah, you know, it's different. Like, we're not obviously competing against right. each other. Um, but, yeah, you know how it is. Like, you, you see him make a play, I'm, and then he sees me make a play. It's like, okay, like, who's, I'm that guy, you know what I mean? So it's, it's that type of deal. Um, you know, even though we're not going technically head-to-head, -head, um, you know, I, I know we've talked about it before, and you could see, like, you know, I think they got the TV copy. We were watching it this morning, and he was like, he saw me get a sack last year against him. He's like, all right, he's shaking his head. I'm like, all right, so it's going to be one of those days. So I expect it to be that way. Um, you know, like I said, I got the ultimate respect for him. He's a hell of a player. And um, he just got his uh, 100th sack, um, which is a big deal. Um, so, yeah, got none but, none but you know, good things to say about him. Max, how would you describe the mood in this locker room right now, given everything that's gone on here the past couple of weeks and the whole season, really, just kind of the strange things? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's good. You know, the players, everybody's, you know, focused on winning. You know, that's the most important thing. Uh, so, yeah, you know, there's always going to be noise, um, but that's just what comes with it. You know, it's just the teams that win um, are the most resilient ones, and that's what we're focused on being. You know, we have a big, big game coming up, um, playing a really solid team. Um, we got to find a way to win. You know, we're back at the crib. Um, we win this game. You know, we're back to 500. And, uh, you know, we're right in the mix. So that's literally all my focus has been on, and that's what I've been preaching to the guys. I know. With the quarterback switch, with the quarterback switch, I mean, what, what does that do for you guys also in this locker room? I know it's the side of the ball from you, but what does yeah. that do for the vibe of the team? Yeah, I mean, Aiden started a lot of games for us. You know, he was our guy last year, um, and we believe in him. So regardless of who's that quarterback, you know, we just want, you know, the guys are going to come in and help us win games. So, yeah, you know, we're fired up. Aiden's a great dude, um, great, you know, great teammate. So, you know, we're expecting him to do good things. No matter who's on the other side playing quarterback, I mean, how have you guys been preparing as a whole for whether it's Justin Fields or Russell Wilson? Yeah, you know, we expect it to be uh, Justin Fields. Um, but regardless, you know, we've, we've had, you know, our fair share of experience with Russ as well. So regardless of who it is, um, it's all about us. You know, we're focused on what we do, um, and that's, you know, dominating the details and, you know, playing relentless, and that's what we plan on doing. Max, obviously Christian going down is really tough, but when you have guys like Nesta, Matthew Butler, guys like that, Adam stepping up, you know, how excited are you for them to really you know, prove to guys that they can step up and do just as effectively? Yeah, you know, it's obviously it's an unfortunate thing. You know, Christian, you know, he loves the game, and, uh, you know, him going down, I know it's tough on him, you know, personally, but as a locker room, you know, it's like, damn, you know what I mean? We've had a lot of injuries, so, um, you know, we're praying for him, and he's still around doing doing what he does, so, um, you know, he's just taking it one day at a time, but yeah, you got guys like Matt Butler, Nesta, um, you know, Junior, our boy Jonah over here, we got a lot of a lot of dudes that are going to get more opportunity, and um, at the end of the day, it's a next man up mentality, you know, that's the NFL, you never know what's going to happen, there's always going to be injuries, um, but you don't wait around and, you know, people say be patient, you know, for your opportunity. It doesn't mean you just sit around and chill until you get an opportunity. It's the work is being put in every single day. And I've been able to see Nesta get better and better every single day um, and, and be dedicated to his craft and take a big step this year. Um, Matt Butler's the same way. That guy's been waiting his turn for years now. And um, he's one of the hardest workers I've been around. So I expect him to do great things and I'm excited to see what happens. But, yeah, you know. Obviously, it's unfortunate with the whole Christian situation. You guys have had, uh, you guys, you, did, uh, um, you speak about the injuries, you've had a lot of them. Uh, yeah. What tells you about the depth of this defense that you know will stand up on Sunday? Yeah, it's like I said, you know, guys have been working. Um, we have the right culture, we have the right people. Um, and injuries happen, you know, you'd never want them to happen, but you just got to be prepared when your name's called. You know, I, I spoke to you know guys like JB last year, you know, that were, you know, thrust into a position to play right away. Like, I went through that. You know, my rookie year, I was, you know, I didn't play hardly my first three games. I was playing 15, 20 snaps, rotating, and I felt like I was, you know, I'm so used to playing every single snap. Like, I was lost, and I was struggling, and I felt like I was at my lowest, like, when it came to my confidence. But I never stopped working. I kept putting the work in. And then I got an opportunity week four against the Colts. You know, Benson went right down right before the game, and I knew I was ready deep down. Like, I've been putting in the work regardless of how I felt mentally. I kept working and kept chipping away, and I haven't looked back since. So that's the mentality. That's what you got to have um, in this league. And, you know, I feel like we have the right guys in the building for it.
been through so many things, obviously. You yeah. talked about that. But you and Christian were so excited to play with each other. You were hanging out all summer you know, together, getting ready for this. Like, just, is there a level of this personal, like, this, this just sucks that we're not going to be side by side playing together? Yeah, I mean, it's the nature of the beast. You know, at this point, um, obviously it sucks, but I don't have time to think you know what I mean I'm, I'm I'm focused on winning you know and unfortunately that's just what comes with it um it's, it started you know I mean Malcolm same thing like we we're on there we we're having a Friday practice and all of a sudden boom Malcolm saw, you know literally non-contact goes down and it's like you never can expect that um it's just it's a part of it so yeah you know you just got to keep rolling with the punches um it's part of the game and um whoever we got out there on the field you know I'm gonna you expect them to be at their best, and they expect the best from me, and um, you know, that's just what comes with it. Max, how are you a leader in rolling with the punches? I mean, you talk a lot about, um, you know, you just said that the best teams in the league are the most resilient ones, and you're kind of a leader in terms of resiliency on this team and within the league. How do you keep that going? Yeah, it's just, it's a mindset, you know what I mean? It's a skill. You can't just, you don't just wake up one morning and be like, all right, I'm going to just handle all this adversity and roll around, you know, roll on and keep, you know, just going along with my day. Um, you have to, you know, train yourself mentally to be at your at your best when it's, it's its hardest. And that's just what I've learned, you know, just the way I was brought up, you know, even as a kid, like my history, I've been through a lot in my life. And um, I got drafted to the Raiders and I felt like I was meant to be a Raider because of, you know, of my background. You know what I mean? It felt like that was the only team I was supposed to go to. And um, I believe they're right. You know what I mean? It's like adversity after adversity and negativity and the outside noise and things like that that come with being a Raider. I feel like I'm meant to be the captain of this team because um, I know how to handle it. And I got to do my best to get everybody on board to roll with the punches, you know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, being a Raider, I feel like Rocky Balboa, I've taken, you know, maybe too many punches, but um, I'm built for that, you know what I mean? And uh, it's a trained skill, like anything. And um, that's why I tell my guys, like, we're blessed to be here. I don't want to hear shit about being sad because we're two and three. So are the Niners, so are a lot of good, really good teams. Um, it's just about how you respond. So it's simple as that. We got to show up. We got to win Sunday. And, you know, that's what we plan on doing. What are some of the messages been from like Coach Rob and AP on tackling this week and getting technique kind of solidified to get this team going with that department tackling? Yeah, it just, I mean, tackling and it's football is one through the most simple things. You know what I mean? It's fundamentals, details, um, and focus. And like, that's what we got to do a better job of doing. You know, we, we didn't do that the, you know, last week. We were a lot better the week before. Um, but you got to be consistent. So that's something we preach. It's just, listen, we're not going to dwell on it. We're not going to keep living in the past. But now it's time. You know what I mean? It's time. We're not going to keep taking steps back. We've got to find ways to improve. And it starts in practice. It starts in the film room. It's all the little things that matter. And, um, you know, as football is the hardest sport. It's, it's the ultimate team sport. you got 53 guys. You know what I mean? It's not like, all right, hand me the ball. I'm going to go ISO and go, you know what I mean? Go score 50. It's like, no, nah, everybody's got to be on point. I'm um, gonna do their job at the highest, highest of their ability. So um, that's what we're focused on doing.